Everyone who has spent any time on campus knows of the George M. Lowe Center for Industrial Innovation, and many are aware that George Lowe is a NASA legend and a past RPI president. He is also a brother of the Delta Phi fraternity. George Lowe was actually born in Austria in 1926 to a wealthy family, but after his father's death when George was eight and the impending Nazi occupation, his mother sacrificed their land and wealth so that she and her children could flee, first to Switzerland, then to Britain, and finally to the United States, settling in Flushing, New York. With all that upheaval in his young life, it is remarkable that George graduated from high school a year early and came to Rensselaer when he was barely 17 years old. In the fall of his freshman year, he joined the Delta Phi fraternity, and that association remained important to him throughout his entire life, as did the father-son relationship he enjoyed with Livingston Houston, then RPI president. At Houston's eulogy, decades later, Lowe said that, quote, I was privileged to know him better than most students because I became a member of his fraternity. I will always remember the stories he told, the questions he answered, the wisdom he shared when he visited the house on First Street, end quote. Lowe's education was interrupted in 1944 when he left Rensselaer to join the Army during World War II. He returned to school after the war, receiving his bachelor's and then master's degree in aeronautical engineering. Soon after, he began his work with the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, where he would conduct research and teach graduate courses. Then, in 1957, when the Soviets launched the first artificial satellite, Sputnik, everything changed. Overnight, a new and dramatic emphasis was placed on the competition for space. Within a year, a new federal agency was created. The National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics essentially morphed into the National Space and Aeronautics Administration, with George Lowe right there on the ground floor. He moved his family to Washington, D.C., and he became the first chief of manned space flight and was therefore intricately involved with the planning for Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo space missions. George Lowe was responsible for that famous memo that convinced President Kennedy in 1961 that it would be possible to send men to the moon and return them safely by the end of the decade. A few years later, when it seemed that the entire program was in jeopardy because of a disaster on a launch pad that killed three astronauts, it was Lowe who was tapped to oversee the redesign, development, manufacture, and testing of nearly four million parts, which made up the Apollo Command service module and the lunar module. His meticulous work saved the Apollo program. There is so much more that can be said of his work with NASA, but it can all be found in the George M. Lowe Gallery on the fourth floor of the CII. His family has donated his priceless collection of memorabilia to Rensselaer, and it is proudly displayed in the gallery, one of the jewels of campus. Stop by when you are able to see for yourself. George Lowe left NASA in 1976 to become Rensselaer's 14th president. His work here is also legendary, and he was beloved by students, faculty, and alums. That's not overstating it. And sadly, in 1984, he passed away of melanoma with a cancer traveling to his brain, a tragic end to an incredible life. George Lowe was remembered larger than life at NASA, at Rensselaer, and at Delta Phi. We consider him our own. When his family donated his memorabilia so that the school could display it to the world, they made sure to include his Delta Phi mug, pin, and ring because the fraternity meant a great deal to him through his entire life. And he means a great deal to every one of his Delta Phi brothers.